to use the number data type, you need to first make sure that you're in the design view of your table. Then next to the field name that you want to change the data type to number, go ahead and click on data type and change it to number. Obviously zip code, I'm going to want to have um, a number given instead of text. So the first thing you'll notice in the field properties is the field size. And if you click right here, you're going to get an arrow and you're going to have the different choices. If you choose the byte field size, then you're going to be able to input an integer um, which is from 0 to 255 and it takes up just one byte of space. So obviously if you can get away with that, then you're going to want to choose byte. Integer is a whole number that ranges from negative 32,768 to 32,767 and it requires two bytes of space. Long integer is an integer which ranges from um, around the negative, um, I think it's 2 billion mark, to the positive 2 billion plus mark, um, and it requires 4 bytes of space. A single is a positive or a negative number that has up to 38 zeros in 7 decimal places. That takes up 4 bytes as well. Double is positive or negative numbers with up to 308 zeros in 15 decimals, and that takes 8 bytes of space. Um, decimal is a positive or negative number with up to 28 zeros and 28 decimal places of accuracy and it also requires 8 bytes of space. So obviously you want to choose the number that's best going to fit so you can keep your database as small as possible. So in this case I have a zip code which is 5 numbers long um, so byte isn't going to work but integer is, should work because it'll be a five digit number so it should fall in that range so I could pick integer. And also down here in the field properties you will see the format section and the format section is basically how you want your number to be formatted. You can have a general number and this is going to just be a general how you type it in is what you see number. You can set it to currency, to euro, you can set it to fixed which has the same number of decimal places so it's going to fill in any zeros if you need it to. Standard is not going to fill in the zeros. Uh, percentage or you can have it in scientific notation. So choose whatever format you need. I'm going to go ahead and pick general number for mine and so now when someone enters their zip code it will fall in the range. It'll be formatted the way I want and I'll end up getting the final file space uh, maximized for my access database.